Finally, the Long War Kickstarter is here. We are trying to raise money to improve all elements of our videos. Cameras, microphones, lighting, and even editing software. We're more than just a company dedicated to bringing hobby back, we're a community. Whether you enjoy all of our content for free here on YouTube, or you're a member of the fast-growing Hall of Veterans, and you enjoy early exclusive access, we're part of the same community. It's not all business though. All the Long War swag that you guys have been waiting for is available on the Kickstarter. Please stop by, check out our Kickstarter, and thank you for the support. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the eagerly anticipated Horus Heresy battle at Calth or Betrayal at Calth. It was a battle at Calth, too, to be honest, but <laughs> today we're going to look at the Betrayal at Calth uh, box set with a miniatures game of desperate battle in the 31st millennium. That's where I got battle from, I swear. Anywho, so <laughs> obviously everybody wants to see this thing. It's the new the new hotness. Games Workshop dropped that it is sold out. There is another wave coming, but it won't be till January. So, it may be marketing, and it may be the truth, but either way, if you want to get your hands on this thing, you're going to have to act quick. Uh, you know, the next couple of uh, weeks or days to scoop this thing up because it is obviously an incredible savings. We talked about it on Spiky Bits blog for, I don't know, until I've gone red in the face or my you know, fingers have turned numb. But, you know, it's such a good, it's such a good deal. And, you know, if you're a, a fan of the heresy, a heresy aficionado, so to speak, and, and this is, this is for you, you know, it doesn't get any better than this, in my opinion. Now, first off, before we jump right into this, I'd like to take a second to remind you to stay in the trenches. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the Battle Reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and exclusive promotion codes that are only available over there to get special discounts on the things you save or to save on the things that you buy every month. Become a veteran of the Long War today. So jumping right back into this bad boy here, obviously it is uh, eagerly anticipated, and let me tell you, this thing weighs a, a literal ton. It is super heavy. It's an amazing looking box. It's the same, you know, super slick cardstock that Space Hulk was made out of, like box wise. I mean, all the graphics and everything. It's v it's done very very well. I feel like you know, as far as um, what what's coming out from from Games Workshop, and you know, you really can't complain when it comes to this this level of I, I guess awesomeness <laughs> you know what I'm saying and not only that but it's its own game too so you're getting that you're getting the sweet minis you're getting the game itself and first off I, I was able to skim through everything we're just doing an unboxing here and we'll talk about the game probably in a different video but basically this is kind of like Space Hulk like it's taking place in the arcologies which are underneath you know subterranean uh, layers I will we'll say layers but it's basically where they grew a bunch of food uh, you know for the population for ultra are uh, for the 500 worlds but now they're basically taking shelter there because the sun the viridian sun has been poisoned by the word bearers they couldn't kill uh you know couldn't conquer them on cal so they poisoned the sun and they're like all right well we still got you got you good well turns out they kind of did so everybody's taking refuge in the arcologies, uh, you know, the people that could, the rest of the people are probably going to die from radiation poisoning, so, you know, Astartes and mortal humans alike. And that's where this is all taking place. Like, that's what these hexes are about. That's what these, you know, uh, restricted areas here, these, these red zones, those are actual, like, stalactites and, you know, underground formations and things like that. So first off, the box contents has the 48-page rule book, which goes over all these rules, you know, all sorts of fluff and background about... I would say about a third of it's devoted to about, to fluff and background. Four double-sided board tiles, very reminiscent of Space Hulk. You can kind of see right here in the picture. The double, you know, double-sided glossy UV coat cardstock kind of deal. 42 reference command and damage cards. The deck is uh, multifaceted, of course. Uh, assault card counters, which you punch out of this. And, of course, the miniatures. 38 Citadel miniatures. Uh, Captain Arathon. Kurt, Kurta said, obviously, these guys are in some of the novels and things. Uh, the Contempt of Dreadnought, the 30 uh, Legionnaires, uh, Tactical Marines, and of course the the 5 Legionnaire uh, Cataphraki Tactical Terminus. Well, I, I guess technically it's 6 uh, because the Captain himself is in Cataphraki plate. So getting back over to here, we're going to open this bad boy up because it's awesome. So there it is. We've seen all sorts of pictures of this thing 
in you know recent times here so it's going to come with your assembly guide check your 48 page rule book right there that is reminiscent of some of the, you know the stuff that comes out of forge world obviously it's not hardcover it's just you know it's a little bit nicer than your normal uh insert rules for uh the actual you know starter sets core sets so to speak but it's not quite you know uh you know the horace heresy rule book in our hard leather which uh you know you put it on your bookshelf and everything smells of rich mahogany so there's uh all the spruce which you get your 30 uh 30 tactical squads boom there those are and then you got your contempt there of course and the accessory spruce too the 30 and then you got your push fit now this is the only detraction to the set in my opinion is the push fit guys um the the leader uh the captain and the word bearers guy the chaplain they're basically push fit which is okay i suppose you know the rest of them are great multi-part uh characters and then you've got all of your 32 millimeter bases thank god they put them on 32s and then your dice here which uh, are part of the game that's uh that's a heal those are hits targets are hits i uh, don't i forget what that one is i think that's a command and there's one blank dice right there as well but we'll, we'll cover that and then all your command cards and it comes with some uh some um baggies to put all this stuff into because once you punch these out so there's an extra baggie a couple extra baggies in there and then here is the game board itself like i said super high quality stuff and you punch all of the active you get two actions per turn uh, per dude, so that's I think what these things are right here, and then you get some other things: open blast doors, closed blast doors, defilation to tokens, and all sorts of different really awesome stuff in here. So we're gonna put that back. Oh, and the decal sheet, because of course these are just made, you know, super generic as far as that goes. And then you can put your decals on it, or of course, what they I'm sure they would rather you do is go over to Forge World and buy some upgrades, right? Because <laughs> we all know all the stuff over on Forge World is pretty much just upgrade sets as far as the horse heresy goes. So, like I said, a lot of this we have already seen, so we're not gonna kind of not spend a whole lot of time on it. So there's the two captain guys. You can kind of see both sides now. Very highly detailed. Well, that one's there you go. Very highly detailed stuff, cataphract you play excuse me and mark four plate as well very good looking stuff this is the accessory screw uh, to the tactical squads the mark four tacticals and then on here there's tons of accessories so you got your legs of course um, and I, I only I only call it accessory because basically there's three sprues to uh, the to the tactical squads right so you got basically right here is your other two tacticals or your other two sprues to it so I call it accessory but it's not really uh, accessory everything's just kind of spread out over the whole thing regardless but let's take a closer look at this so uh, obviously you have here you all of your arms you got all of your legs then you got the other half of the storm bolter which is right here the drum fell uh, the drum fed bolter right there all of the drum fed uh, guns are two parts basically so you got all your you got one set of combis which is going to fl uh, flip back to there and you also have a heavy bolter in here which is also drum fed you got your power fist which is really great looking there's the other half to the drum and you can see you got all sorts of packs and different things like that now i don't know what pattern these bolters are i want to say they're umbra i forget but you know normally you when you buy these from forge World, you have to get a specific uh set of bolters i think there's ferox there's umbra they're all great looking stuff i personally prefer the ones with the drums but that's not what we got with the mark four plate but that's perfectly okay because the savings you get with here is just bananas you know what i'm saying all these guys have close combat blades which are way better than the, the previous version i mean kind of like crocodile gun d you know like you call that a knife <laughs> you know what i mean because these things are huge i mean they're almost as big as the legs set themselves there's all your generic shoulder pads your studs the really sweet Mark um, One rocket launcher. Then you got a plasma gun, power sword, a little legio kind of thing that hangs on the back of their armor. And there is the heavy bolter, which we saw the drum for it on the accessory sprue. And then all your backpacks, your grenades, your packs, uh, the pterodactyl. I don't even know how to say that, but I know how to spell it. It's like pterodactyl, so I guess it's like pterodactyl or whatever. I don't know. The little studded thingies, the little studded leather thingies that are uh, in the groin plates and over their shoulders. Those are, you know, from the Roman Legion things. 
and then you've got all the Mark IV plates and backs, all of your helmets right here, which are quite substantial. If you take a take a closer look into there, that's obviously more than 10, and this is the 10 sprue. So you get a bunch of different variety, and then of course you got the little captain or the centurions, just kind of depends on what you want to make them, but they, there they are right there. So this, along with that other sprue I showed you, is the tactical is the tactical sprout squad boom so obviously we're probably going to see that they're so well done i would i would be if i was a gambling man which i'm not but i like to think i am because i always say that i would definitely bet that that, that we're going to see these as individual component releases you know box sets here in the near future uh for the uh, new age of darkness all right so next up we got the cataphraki and these guys are they may not be, because uh, depending on how familiar you are with the Horse Heresy, the Terminators in the Horse Heresy technically can't deep strike. You have to take certain things to make them deep strike. They don't have the same level of technology um, that's available today in 40K, which is kind of weird because, you know, back then they have more technology. So some of these, there's some little things like that that just don't quite work the same, I guess, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, it's just one of those little... Uh, I guess I want to say one of the uh, nuances um, kind of type thing. Um, you know, so as far as that goes, uh, it's uh, it's really interesting. Um, where, so basically, this is cataphracty armor. And what's really cool about it, and we're going to see when we look through, because I'm going to show you the sprues, which obviously I'm doing right now. But I'm also going to show you the assembly guide that shows you how to put all this stuff together. So this comes with like pretty much every option out there. You can get your power weapons, your chain fists. You know, you've got um, the lightning claws as well. You got the sergeant with the power sword. Then you got your bolters, and they're all on this, this separate arms, except for the bolters. But the bolters have dedicated arms. So really, you can magnetize these at the torsos and be able to switch them out with everything. Or conversely, pick up extra sets of legs and you. Have have extra sets of arms and then you can fill it out from there you know on the with the bit sellers and things like that um the the heads are really small just like just like normal but the, the delineating factor the con the least common denominator if you will are these shoulder pads the shoulder pads there's only one set so you would have to you would have to basically magnetize the shoulder pads as well and the easiest way to do that i feel like is to get some tin strips and glue them down and then put one magnet on each of these guys instead of magnetizing at all. I have, there's a demo on the YouTube channel here, like how to magnetize a Titan, I believe it is. Uh, oh no, excuse me, a Storm Raven. And I show you how to use those tin plates, how to acquire them. They're actually pretty cheap to basically magnetize things. There is also a heavy flamer for this kit as well. So normally I think these guys are like 75, 80 bucks and now it should just come in the box set that's already going for, you know, only, what is it? Uh, uh, 150 seems like a good deal right and then next up last but not least uh, surely not least is the contemptor dreadnought in plastic now this one isn't quite the multi-part that we would want you know but just the fact that it's in here is super cool uh, in and of itself because like I don't really like how the legs are split right here you know when you would try to glue these together that seems super annoying in the arms super annoying as well but for games workshop this is the best they can do you know they have a budget they're like yo we got to put it on one sprue let's make it work and you know what i don't really I, I'm not, I ain't hating i ain't hating because it's a plastic contemptor there's plenty of we're all hobbyists so we can make this work there's gaff filler out there if you haven't seen the uh, plastic putty from vallejo stuff's amazing pick some of that up but the one thing i wanted to show you guys was that these two part uh, arms that go together, like for instance, these two, that's the that's the back or the inside where the armpit would be, and that's the front. When you glue these together, you can basically chop them right here at this joint, and then at that point, you would have two shoulder sets. So if you wanted to switch them, right, with uh, the, like the, the left arm, you know what I'm saying? So you have one basically left arm that is the power of this. And then you have this one, this one, and where is it? Uh, oh, excuse me, the assault cannon and this are on the right arm. So if you wanted to do double arms, you could you basically pick one of these, cut it off at the joint, and then you get rid of, you buy a second one basically, and then you get rid of the same spot on this joint right here, and then you would have double, you know, double armed uh, dreadnoughts. 
Conversely, like if you wanted a du or excuse me, double barreled gun dreadnoughts, and then if you wanted to have t two armed dreadnoughts, you could do the same thing. You could cut this off right here and put it on, you know, cannibalize one of the weapon arms. These things, uh, the weapon arms themselves, I believe, are about fifteen dollars on Forge World. So they they do look like they're compatible. I am very familiar with their size, and these are roughly about the same size. I, I don't have a uh, I don't have a Forge World one on me to to show you, but I can tell you that it's very close. Um, just from you know memory and things like that so I could see a lot of people doing that but the cool thing is you know the real thing the real question is basically uh, doing the legs and things like that because they're all gonna have the same you know kind of uh, Imperial Knight I guess uh, dreadnought kind of pose excuse me Imperial Knight Titan kind of pose because there isn't much variance to that so if you're gonna get a bunch of these you definitely gonna want to change the feet because they're all gonna look the same then they have the command cards, which are right here. Very, very well done. I mean, it's nice, heavy card stock. They're laminated. You know, you've got there's the ones that are for each. I believe these are called tactical cards. These are the ones for each of the squads, which are really cool. And then it gets into the damage cards for the dreadnought itself. There's a bunch of those, which goes into a separate phase of the game uh, when you're playing. And then the actual command cards themselves, because you draw a command hand. And depending on what side you're playing, and there's different effects and things, and it, it all gets into that in the game itself. So these are pretty cool to see, um, you know, as far as how the game plays and how they keep track of things, and really simplifying it down instead of, oh, okay, well, what's your weapon skill? Oh, okay, well, what's your ballistic, you know, and, and all that, because a, a lot of players that are just jumping into this don't really, you know, kind of have that sort of thing, and unless you de have a dedicated demo unit, uh, that's really not a thing either. And like I was saying also, you know, speaking of rolling dice, these are the actual dice for the game. Now, they're not the dice we're used to, but they are part of the game. You know, there's a heal there, there's hits, uh, command card, command action, excuse me. You can activate criticals for some of your weapons. It plays similar to Age of Sigmar, um, I guess, in that regard to basically how you activate things and uh, how the initiative goes. So we'll get to that here in a second when I just show you a quick overview of the rule book. So here's the actual assembly guide, right? And you can kind of see how it all goes together. Like I said, these guys are the push fit and then you get into the multi-part stuff, which really isn't too unexpected, I guess. And something I forgot to mention about the, the shoulder, the backpacks. I don't exactly like the backpacks personally because I think the Mark IV stuff should look a little bit uh, older, they just kind of seems like they took the existing backpacks and just kind of threw a weird fan up there and a couple of extra wires. And while that type of design is, you know, true to the spirit of the older, you know, pattern backpacks, it just looks like the current backpack when you throw it on the guy, you're like, oh, that's a space ring. And then uh, you, double, you do a double take, and you're like, wait, no, that's a that's a Mark IV. But what what the heck is going on? You know, so that's the only thing that's really kind of uh, realistically throwing it for me. But that's just personal preference, I feel like at this point. And then you get into, it shows you how to do all the special weapons, you know, pretty pretty easy stuff. And then here's the thing I wanted to show you about the arms on the cataphraki. So it shows you how to assemble all the arms, you can do different poses and things, but at the end of the day, you have to put the same set of, shul of shoulder pads on there. So you might want to look at, you know, how to magnetize it doing the tin, the tin trick I was telling you about. And then there's the dreadnought, you know, left, right, front, back, and all of the arm options. And then you flip it to the back and it shows you how to do the rest. And then it's like, yo, throw some decals on there, dog. Here's where they go. <laughs> Super easy. And then there, there's your uh, basically technical readout of how they should all look. And then there's the actual rules themselves. And basically, like I said, the scenario is everybody's underneath the, uh, the it's the sub, you know, trying to get, the first mission is them actually trying to get beyond the blast doors and then actually into the archaeologies themselves to preserve uh, their lives, basically. You know, the Ultramans to protect the citizens and whatever other, you know, members of the 13th Legion got down there and then the word bearers are like, yeah, we're just trying to kill everybody because we're word bearers, word bearer things. <laughs> so here's the contents. You basically get a reference, you know, the board, what's going on, quick reference, Friends, you know, in-game in actions, how to play. The first scenario, like I said, the Wrath of Viridia, that's the star that's going buck wild. And uh, so basically they have to get inside before it goes buck wild and uh, incinerates a lot of them. And then in all the six scenarios. And then next week in the White Dwarf, there will be a bonus scenario as well. And then it kind of gets into personal, you know, uh, like fluff. Like I said, the last half of the book is pretty much all fluff. Talking about the two dramatic uh, personalities here. And then getting into, you know, more general on the Ultramarines and things like that and the box contents. Now here's some stuff we probably haven't seen yet.
seen yet, obviously. The reference cards, the other components, like all the different blast doors, the hit, the critical hit, and the shield face. And when you roll the critical hit, like I was saying, there is a, a, a critical hit action if you have one of those in your squad that you can resolve. And then it gets into, you know, basically the actions, how, you know, counting hexes, like what's a hex? Is this an adjacent hex? I don't know. Yeah. And, you know, kind of how all that works. Now we're going to go over the game a little bit more. Uh, this isn't a video for that. This is more of like an unboxing kind of thing. And then actually into playing the game. And like I said, there's action phases. You roll for initiative to see which player goes first. And then you basically uh, go from there. You have a ready phase and an action phase. And, uh, you know, and it just kind of, there's specific actions that you can do. Advance, pin, run, consolidate. You know, just kind of moving about. And then you get into the critical effects. That's what I was talking about earlier. If you roll a critical effect, you can trigger a critical effect on the weapon, like the assault cannon has a critical effect right there. And there's a ton of weapons in here, and there's also a separate phase for damaging the contemptor, which were those cards I showed you earlier. So then all of the weapons in here have a specific shoot value that you can, it's basically like faux customizing your squads, you know, so you can be like, oh, I want to put this on this guy, you know, and, and things like that. And it tells you what you get, like assault plus one or, you know, assault plus two. And then it gets into the scenarios and running a campaign. And there's the first mission. And it looks pretty cool. Like, I'm really stoked to actually play this because you basically set up next to each other. You have to run for these blast doors before you die at a certain, uh, a certain point. So... You know, you want to shoot your dudes, but you also, you know, kind of need to survive to get to the next mission. So, it's really cool. Like, it seems very well thought out, and there's there's a whole, like, um, you know, kind of uh, campaign-esque uh, build to it as well. And then you get to the back here, and it starts talking about the actual heresy and introducing both, you know, new and old players as well into the actual game itself and blah 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 and then it gets into the dramatic personalities the ultramarines the others and then it's you know more stuff to buy yay so really cool i mean i kind of dig it and there's a quick reference on the back as well so it's a nice little bonus to kind of everything um you know just basically it's just a nice little set you know it's re it's really cool i could see how this will be aimed at newer players, like getting them into the game, as well as targeted at existing players because, you know, a lot of people are just like, hey, I love this stuff, I wanna play it more. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, I feel like it's gonna do well. Uh, already supposedly sold out in pre-orders in the US. So definitely get your hand, get on down to your local, uh, friendly local game store or get online at gamesworkshop.com right now and reserve your copy before they are sold out.